Expats by Lulu Wang wraps off the section on our heroes and how their lives were turned upside down after Gus went missing. To find out if Gus is discovered in the end and other elements that emerge during the almost hour-long series finale episode of Expats, we will analyze episode 6 in great depth in this. A variety of public transit options are seen in the opening montage of the episode home as individuals make their way to various locations. We follow Hillary as she gathers her belongings and boards a plane to see her parents after a lengthy separation. Despite her mother's joy at Hillary's arrival, the subtle gaslighting and taunting continue whenever she is in the room. Rapidly, we learn Hillary's family history, which includes the fact that her father has a huge family with another woman who thinks he's a saint despite the pain he caused Hillary and her mother. Hillary's mother urged her to be there since her father is due to have significant heart surgery, because her father's health would worsen if she told him the truth about her marriage. Her mother forbade her from doing so. After researching her father, what does Hillary discover? Hillary meets the other family, including the son her father had always wanted, at the hospital when they visit her father. Their sudden appearance startles Hillary, and she becomes icy and unresponsive as a result. At home, Hillary is disrupted during a Gurbani Pass ceremony, which is a secret that involves reciting hymns from the Guru Grand Sahib, since the lady and kid from her father's other family are there. In spite of the intense stress she's feeling as a result of her situation, Hillary musters up the nerve to approach the other family and start a discussion. But her foundations are shaken when she learns her family holds her father in high esteem and is oblivious to the anguish he has inflicted on Hillary and her mother. Is Hillary willing to forgive her dad? While her mother is out getting coffee the next day, Hillary has a chance to chat with her father, who is overjoyed to finally meet her during the hospital visit. To gauge her father's reaction, she fabricates news about her marriage and impending pregnancy when he inquires about David. Hillary takes a step back when she sees her father so happy with the news that she is expecting a son. As the nurse prepares to leave, Hillary leaves her father dumbfounded by pledging to teach their kid about his grandpa and the harm he did her when she was a youngster. Hillary cuts all ties with him and refuses to forgive him. In David's opinion, does Mercy's choice fly? In contrast, Mercy is seen spending time with Charlie during the student resistance rally. Charlie brings up Mercy's recent increased appetite and we quickly figure out that she's pregnant. David is waiting in the lobby for the two females to arrive at Mercy's flat. David wants to know why Mercy hasn't been answering his calls and where she is as Charlie goes to the flat. His care for her is evident when he challenges her choices concerning the pregnancy. David offers her a check and the contact information for an abortion clinic, explaining that he is prepared to cover all expenses because he is the biological father of the child she is carrying. Mercy, nevertheless, is adamant that he not take part, and the couple ends their relationship when she makes it clear that she has no intention of terminating the pregnancy. Mercy is young and has a lot of life ahead of her, so David isn't happy about her decision, and they break up permanently. Regarding Charlie's pregnancy, does Mercy tell her the truth? Mercy ultimately tells the truth about David and how they met at the flat, as Charlie prepares to return to the demonstration. While Mercy's background doesn't make Charlie feel uneasy, Mercy's announcement of the pregnancy causes Charlie to lose it. When Mercy begins to fuss over how bad life has been for her, she calms her down by telling her she's wrong. Charlie tells Mercy it how it is, she's squandering her life being so self-absorbed and focused on an external factor when she might be taking advantage of all the chances that exist for Korean Americans. While others, like Charlie, struggle for fundamental rights abroad, Mercy, a graduate and citizen of the United States, has every right to seize the opportunity that comes her way. Charlie chooses to depart Mercy for the demonstration despite her pleas. Mercy, Charlie thinks, is being self-centered since she has so many chances at her fingertips as a Korean-American. Mercy, in Charlie's view, is wasting these chances by becoming pregnant with an American guy, while Charlie is having trouble finding possibilities of a similar kind in another nation. Does Margaret's family depart from Hong Kong? Finally, the day has come when the Wu family, accompanied by Essie, is making their way to the airport, after much packing. As Clark and Essie keep the kids from fighting and get to the airport in plenty of time, Margaret has a string of introspective thoughts that cause her to freak out just before her flight takes off. Clark tries to reassure Margaret, but she just can't take another step towards the gate. He gets it. As a parent, it's almost tough to let go of the thought of never seeing Gus again. At this point, Daisy is furious with Margaret for leaving them. But Clark consoles the kids by saying their mum will be back in the US shortly. Margaret confronts Essie before she leaves, and the latter offers an apology for everything. While Margaret goes out searching for Gus, Essie says she will watch the kids and that she understands Margaret's decision. Upon Mercy's mother's arrival, what transpires? Mercy finds out she's pregnant on her way to the airport to pick up her mum, and her mother's reaction is one of obvious astonishment and surprise. While Mercy remains tight-lipped about David in response to her queries about the father, it becomes clear that Mercy's mother isn't as bad as Mercy had feared. Despite her initial disapproval of Mercy's decision to retain the baby, Mercy's mother eventually comes to terms with her daughter's situation, 
and begins to truly care for her. Mercy is irritated by her mother's impulsive decision-making when she proposes that they go back to New York together. Can Margaret and Hillary let Mercy go? As our heroes finally meet face to face in the series finale, home, Lulu Wang switches things up in terms of how she handles their encounters. Margaret decides to get in touch with Mercy after an epiphany when she is cleaning up her flat. Just as Hillary and David part ways peacefully after Hillary returns from her parents' house, Hillary also chooses to meet Mercy when David asks for her permission to disclose her number. Almost as if the actors were having a discussion with the viewer, the close-up shots of them staring straight ahead at the camera give this scene an intimate feel, to the point that it's almost as if they are revealing their innermost thoughts and feelings to us as they gently peel back their skin. Hillary and Margaret learn that Mercy is expecting a child as the plot resumes. Mercy says she wants to keep the baby, as we saw in the last episode. Nevertheless, she struggles with insecurities about her parenting skills and frets over the possible repercussions for herself and the child. For a long time, Mercy has believed in a curse that follows her about, bringing her loneliness, misery, and bad luck. She is afraid that this curse will also impact her kid. But in their separate sessions, Margaret and Hillary both tell Mercy that she shouldn't be harping on a situation that happened a long time ago. She has a lot of life ahead of her and should stop worrying about other people and start living it to the fullest. Can you tell me what the expats ending means? There are a lot of unanswered mysteries left by the conclusion of episode 6, the series finale of expats. But I've done my best to simplify matters by trying to describe the finale from the perspectives of our three main characters. It isn't until the three ladies meet face to face after their last encounter, which happens to coincide with Gus's disappearance, that the denouement shows they are all heading in separate directions. Mercy becomes the pivotal character in the lives of both Margaret and Hillary, even though we saw their falling out in episode 4 and how they never crossed paths again. Hillary, expats finale, a path to self-discovery and resolution. Hillary, with Puri's assistance, redecorates her flat at the end of the series finale of expats, adding vibrancy to her otherwise mundane and peculiar existence. It shows that Hillary, a contemporary, educated, prosperous, and self-reliant woman, is subjected to continual gaslighting and obscene comments just for being herself, despite cultural expectations and prejudices about women in their 40s being childless. Her character gets some much-needed closure from every angle. She finally gets a divorce after realizing she and her spouse drifted apart over their differing values and goals in life. She becomes the independent woman she is now in large part because she severs connections with her violent father, who brought nothing but anger and chaos into her childhood. Despite Mercy's involvement with her husband, she realizes now that she was completely harmless to her. Mercy was dismissed from her work due to her dishonesty, but she lied about it so she wouldn't have to deal with the anger she felt towards her after finding out David had pregnant her. Mercy, finding comfort and forgiveness in the end of the expat story. At last, Mercy realizes that she has been fixating on the negative rather than the positive, which explains why fortune has never been on her side. After Margaret says that she never got why Mercy blamed her of Gus's disappearance, and Charlie brings to light details that Mercy had been ignoring for the most part of her life, we learn that Mercy had been punishing herself the whole time. Deliberately withholding the joy that rightfully belonged to her was her original sin. Mercy was only unlucky to have been in the wrong spot at the wrong time, as the truth eventually came out. She eventually lets her guard down and starts crying towards the end, as her mother reaches out to embrace her, giving her the solace and warmth she's always craved. Maybe it just takes one minute of being hugged by someone to make everything seem normal again, or at least give you hope that things may get back to normal. Margaret, finding home in the expats finale through a mother's journey. At the end of the series finale, Margaret, who plays a significant role throughout the drama, is seen strolling across Hong Kong. Since she really cannot bear to continue living in the United States when her son, Gus, may be anywhere in the world, she is relentless in her search for him. A moment with Mercy shows that her home is where Gus is, despite her attempts to return from her sad existence in Hong Kong. Margaret, who has two children who rely on her, is brokenhearted and in continual pain because she misses one of them but is determined to show courage and resilience by searching for her missing kid relentlessly, even if it takes her whole life. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.